Hello everyone. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Monday. Today I'm coming at you with our weekly Minx Monday Q&A. And without further ado, let's get started. Uh, but the very first question from Cookie. What are your thoughts on the new model Delightful? Uh, I am excited for the new model Delightful. Uh, I am actually on the wait list for the Azure with the pink interior that's supposed to launch in April. So I'm super happy about that. Uh, and I really like the fact that they added a little bit more details to them. They, they really um, took into consideration everything that we talk about uh, Louis Vuitton as far as the details go and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm excited. I am so, so excited for it. And um, I have always kind of had my eye on the delightful. I've never really took the plunge. Uh, but like I said, I'm on the wait list and um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, okay. Maria Garcia, is Vernie waterproof like Damier Ben? Uh, no, it is not. Uh, even though it's not as delicate as I thought it was going to be, uh, if you ever get water on uh, any vernie piece, you want to try to wipe it off as soon as possible because it does have a clear coating that gives it that shiny patent look. And over time, if you're not careful, it will get very cloudy and it won't look as... Uh, as it won't be as stunning as we would like for need to look. So always be careful. Of course, if you're stuck in the rain, there's nothing you could do about that. Uh, but like I said, as soon as you can, try to wipe it off and you should be okay. Uh, and she also has another question. Do you have any Louis Vuitton Vernie pieces, SLGs, or bags? Uh, I have two Alma PMs, one in the color Cerise and another in the Norm Magnetic. I also own uh, a monogram Vernie Clay in a Rose Indian. I have a small Agenda PM in Rouge Favise. And I have uh, some ballerina flats as well. And I think the color is in Rouge Favis, as, I, think, I think, as well. I could be wrong. <laughs> it's been quite a while since I've worn them. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I, I love, love Vernie. Uh, okay, no worries, XOX. What do you think about the Valentino Rock Stud Tote? It is such a stunner. Worried it's a little flimsy. Um, you know what? I think it's very edgy, but it's still very classy. And I know what you're talking about. It looks... Um, it looks like the leather might soften over time, so hopefully it won't just completely fall apart when you sit when you set it down on something. But I haven't heard too many negatives on the Rockstad tote, so I think you might be okay. So if you're thinking for it, go for it because it, it. I mean, I love the colors that it comes in, so it's a great bag. Um, okay, Beth Jensen, do you think the Speedy Multicolor looks dated, or is it a classic? Well, <laughs> I don't think it's dated at all. Um, and it's probably, I mean, partially because I think that the Speedy Multicolor is my Holy Grail Louis Vuitton bag. So I kind of have a, <laughs> I kind of favor it anyways. But I don't think it's dated at all. I think it's very fun. And uh, I think bags are such a great way to express your personality. And I think I told you guys before, I had a subby ask me if a, if I was any bag, what bag would it be? It would be <laughs> the, speedy, the Speedy Multicolor because it just shows so much personality. It's so fun. And I think it's perfect for summer, whether it's white or black. So I like it. So I say it's a classic. And uh, the fact that Takashi Murakami has still been around, even though it was launched in 2002 or 2003, that's a big deal. And yes, I know that they're trying to phase out of multicolor, but still other uh, limited edition pieces that came along, they were there for a few years and then they kind of went away. And um, But like I said, the fact that multicolor is still around, uh, that just speaks volumes of the designer of the fact that they, uh, they got together with Louis Vuitton and they made a beautiful line. So I say, yes, it's a classic. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Melissa Bailey, just curious why you say the Josephine is more secure than the Emily wallet. I thought I was, uh, I thought I was sure on the Emily, but now I'm not sure. So even though I like the Emily wallet, I do own, uh, three Josephines. And all I mean by that is when you first open up the Josephine wallet, I like the fact that the cards aren't right here. The Emily wallet, it has it right here. And yes, it has a pouch that kind of opens up. And I think as she said in her comment, you're able to put your phone in there. But I'm not a big fan of opening up the wallet and bam, there are your cards. I like the fact that the Josephine, you have to go one more time before you have to get, before you get into the cards. So I like that aspect of it. That's all it is. Uh, but I mean, really it's the same wallet. It just has slight de uh, different details, but you can't go wrong with either one. I just personally prefer the Josephine uh, myself. And the last 
couple of days I was actually using this and I just used this guy right here. So I like that. I like the versatility of the Josephine. It's a great wallet. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, moving right along. All right. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> I hopefully don't butcher this, but I know I will. Uh, okay. So the name is the Mendel's Anshan Man. I don't know. I'm so, so sorry. Um, uh, okay. So they ask, I wanted to know what you think a good low price starter piece from Tiffany and co would be in your opinion in crystal and glassware. Um, you know, I've never really looked at the, the, the crystal too much. Uh, as far as glassware goes, I honestly think that the, the little mug, the little Tiffany blue mug with the white ribbon would be a great starter piece. I think it was $35. I think it was at 35 or 40. It, I mean, it, it's, it's, I think it's 35 or 45. It's going to, it's going to bug me. <laughs> I'll try to put a link on it on the description box below. Uh, but I really like it. It's very cute. It's very extremely Tiffany and co. And I just think it adds, um, just uh, a lot of class to, to a mug. So <laughs> I say that would be a great, great starter piece. Uh, okay. Uh, Isabella Black. Do you have an eBay account where you sell your Louis Vuitton and other items? Uh, yes, I do, but I haven't used it in quite some time. Uh, usually I like to post stuff on Instagram or I'll tell you guys here on YouTube. Uh, but if I don't do that, I find a consignment shop and I just consign my, my items. Uh, I found it to be a little bit easier. And, um, number two, she has three questions. Uh, I am thinking of getting the Neverfull eye cap bag, but an, am undecided on color. Grand blue, rose Indian, and rose velours. Which color do you think is the mo most versatile to get? Um, well, I'm not a big fan of the color blue. Uh, and truth be told, I thought I was going to go for the rose Indian because it's a little bit more of a hot pink, but, but... I do love the contrast of the rose velours and the monogram. I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks great. So for that reason, I would have to go with the rose velours. Um, it's the it's a it's a lighter pink, and you can wear it pretty much year round. Uh, so I say go for the rose velours. And the next question, uh, if I purchase a pre-loved Louis Vuitton, can I bring it to the store to get it authenticated? This is a great, great question. Um, no, you cannot. If you bought a bag, you cannot go to the Louis Vuitton store and say, hey, can you tell me if this is real? Uh, because, and it's funny because Pedro and I had a discussion about this. Uh, the, re the main reason why they don't do that is um, they never know who would walk in there. And let's say they're trying to replicate the bag. They don't want an essay or someone from Louis Vuitton telling them what is wrong with the bag so that that way, if they were to manufacture it, then they won't, uh, they will make sure and avoid those things, those, uh, red flags, if you will. Uh, so they will not do that. However, if you were to get, uh, let's say you have a replica of Louis Vuitton. If you go into the store and, uh, you try to get it repaired, uh, they will just, tell you, uh, we apologize, but we cannot work on this piece. That is the best way for them to tell you if it's real or not. Uh, so especially when you get pre-loved, sometimes, um, there's little things that you want to get fixed, whether it's the vaquetta, whether it's, uh, some of the hardware stuff like that, that is a great, uh, inconspicuous way <laughs> to find out if it's real or not. But no, they will not blatantly tell you if it's real or uh, if it's fake. And they won't tell you that either when they say they cannot work on it. So that's just kind of a little, a little inside info that I, <laughs> that I have learned over the years. <laughs> uh, okay. But that's a great, great question. Cause a lot of people have asked me that. Uh, and uh, I actually get a few requests on Instagram if uh, I will help someone authenticate something. And even though uh, I am a huge LV fan, I am in no way, shape, or form a professional to be able to give you guys, uh, especially if it, when it comes to money. Uh, I don't want to, um, I don't want to, I know my bags. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I know real from fake, but there's always those ones that, that are so, so tricky to tell. And I would not want to uh, steer you guys in the wrong direction. So that's why I always tell you guys to go to Carol Diva or um, there's a few other online um, uh, auth authenticators that will do that for a nominal fee. So uh, it is not, uh, trust me, I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that. It's just, I, I worry because sometimes, like I said, there's those those people that replicate that, 
it is insane how how great they look and sometimes they've even gotten past um authenticators so I don't, <laughs> I try not to do that. So that's a little bit about that. Uh, okay, Alex and Fuegos. Is it true that Louis Vuitton is making a new clay in the Infra Rouge monogram? Okay, so this is another great question. Uh, and I think it was maybe a month or two ago, I was on a Minx Monday and I told you guys about the new clay. I personally saw it on Instagram, and I believe it was on the Nicholas Gasquier Instagram account that I saw a clay. Just a plain clay like this with the Infra Rouge monogram, which has the black background and the uh, red LVs. I, I saw it. I went back onto the Instagram. I could not find it. Uh, I, trust me, I'm not crazy. I've seen it somewhere, and maybe they took it off because maybe it was a piece just for... Um, just for the house, uh, for themselves, or maybe they're going to introduce it later. I have no idea, but um, I, I just keep hearing about the insulate wallet and the new bags, but nothing on the clay. But trust me, I am on the edge of my seat to find out <laughs> if it's a real thing or not. But great question. Uh, okay. Uh, A.K. Komorowski. How are you enjoying your new Mon Mono? I recently ordered mine and cannot wait for it to come. Uh, we actually had uh, a bit of rain in the last week and a half, two weeks. So I still have not been able to use it and I'm dying to use it. I'm so excited. I started using my Insulet wallet. Ah! <laughs> um, but uh, I, I just want it to be like the perfect weather for me to be able to, to use it. And it looks like today might have been it because it's like 85 and sunny. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Michaela Sigrio. I'm sorry. You mentioned you don't like the speedy bandolier. Can you explain why? Okay. So even though I'm not a big fan of the speedy bandolier, I can appreciate it. Uh, the big, the big thing for me is I don't like bags that have crossbody straps with them. I like the classic, the classic looks of them. Uh, the Speedy is one of my all-time favorite Louis Vuitton pieces, and I just like how it looks when it's just it's classic in its own classic shape. Um, even though, trust me, I know that the bandolier saves your shoulder, your back, your arm, and all that other good stuff. Uh, I just I don't know. It's not for me. It's not um, something that I'm crazy about. But but the more and more I see it, the more and more I'm kind of like, hmm, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> So even though I'm not a big fan of it, like I said, I can appreciate it. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a, but I trust, I hear so many people rave about their bandoliers because they can use it. I mean, different ways you can take off the strap and it will still look like a classic speedy, even though I think it looks more like a keep all. Uh, but I don't know. I just, I, if it comes with a crossbody strap, I think it should just be a crossbody bag. And I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can't really pinpoint what it is. And uh, I think that's the epitome of versatility, truth be told. And even though I talk about versatility all the time, for some reason, I'm not a fan of the most versatile piece that Louis Vuitton makes. Crazy. I know. I'm crazy. I know. Uh, okay. Cat Lux 88, Cat Lux Love 8811. Please get the favorite PM. But if you were to get it, which print would you get it in? Ooh, uh, I think I would get it in the Azure. Yes, I, I, I can picture the interior of it with the Azure and the combo. I think it would look very, very nice. So Azure, definitely. Uh, okay, Shelby Weaver. Can you do a wear and tear video on multicolor, please? Uh, yes, I will. I did um, wear and tear videos on Monogram, Demi Ben, and Demi Azure. And um, I would actually like to use this, uh, this cutie a little bit more. And uh, that way I can give you guys a little bit more feedback, excuse me, on how, uh, on how they wear. Again, with my throat. Uh, but yes, I will. Uh, okay. Bags for life. Not sure if you've answered it already, but what are your hobbies? Uh, well, uh, I <laughs> I like to do all sorts of things, to be honest. I like to go fishing, even though we haven't been in a while. Uh, I like to go hiking, uh, primarily in Julian. That's where my husband and I like to go the most. 
Uh, and I, you know what? I absolutely love to go antiquing. It is one of my favorite things to do or go to flea markets. I just like to find uh, just old, um, especially like old uh, decorative things. Like when I show you guys uh, my my closet tour or my room tour, you guys will see I have a lot of antique things, and uh, I just like the way that they look. They they're they don't make them like that anymore, and uh, I so appreciate. Um, you know, especially some of the pieces that I have in my room. And I think that sometimes I go for more gaudy things <laughs> because I like gaudy. Okay. I do. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I just like one of a kind pieces. I don't like anything to match. Um, so when you guys see my room, I have different colored, uh, mirrors and different colored, uh, I, I, I have, uh, what are these called? Um, Oh my goodness, columns in my room, and I just have all sorts of things. I can't wait to show you guys. But the main reason why I don't want to do a room tour is because uh, the house, when we purchased it, it has green, green, yes, you heard correctly, green carpet. It is hideous. I mean, it is horrible. And I'm, <laughs> I'm trying slowly to get that taken care of because I will have um, flooring. I would have wood flooring, but... Yes, that is why. That is my deep, dark secret of my closet. It has green, green carpet. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> um, but yes, so my hobbies. <laughs> Sorry, I went on a little tangent. Uh, so antiquing and uh, I really like to hang out with my family. Uh, like last night, um, my brother, my mom, uh, my husband and I all played the game, the board game life. And we had such a blast doing it. <laughs> um, I think we played for like three and a half or four hours. So I just like doing just anything really. I'm down for anything. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, that's a great question. Thank you. Uh, okay. Quarant on, what do you think of the Rivoli bag? Um, and it comes in Damia Ben and I, you know what? I'm, I like it. I, I, it's, it's a very, very, very structured bag, and um, it's a Louis Vuitton bag, and uh, to me, it kind of looks like a cousin of an Hermes. I, I'm not saying it looks like, it looks like it could be in the family of Hermes. It has that same kind of characteristics to it, uh, even though uh, an Hermes Birkin is definitely... Um, definitely more expensive. Uh, but I think it looks like a Birkin to a, to a certain extent. I don't know. Is it just me? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, but I think it's a nice bag. I think it's too structured. I never thought I would ever say those words, but, uh, it's a little too much. I think it's great for a, um, for a business aspect or I don't know for every day. Personally, for me, I wouldn't like it for every day. I need something with a little bit more give, uh, but it's not a bad looking bag at all. Uh, okay. And LV addict, what foundation do you have on? Uh, I use the, I think it was the L'Oreal. Is it L'Oreal? I think it's L'Oreal, um, visible lift. And I'll put the, uh, the information on the description box below. I think that's what I use. That's always what I use is L'Oreal, but I go back and forth depending upon, um, which line of L'Oreal to use. Uh, okay. And Christy J, do you use your Chanel credit card case? If you had to choose between the business card or the credit card case, which one would you choose? Uh, I honestly think I would choose, um, the credit card looking case that I did a review on last week. Uh, even though I like the other one, a lot, I love both pieces. I just like the fact that it's very small and I'm able to fit, I, I'm able to fit it in everything without having to worry about that button. Because even though the other one is a little bit uh, thicker. I just, I don't feel I fit in as much. Maybe it's just me, uh, but I prefer the little credit card business looking one. Uh, okay. And I have two more questions in love with LV forever. What editing software do you use? How long do you spend on editing? Um, <laughs> I don't edit any of my videos. So when, I mean, not a single one, uh, I think twice I have put two clips together, but I haven't really I don't, I'm not very <laughs> savvy when it comes to editing. And uh, honestly, I kind of prefer it that way because it gives you guys a glimpse of what's really going on up here. So when I do Minx Mondays and they're 30, 35 minutes long, uh, my husband is actually 
amazed. He's just like, Minnie, how can you talk for 35 minutes? <laughs> I told him, you know what? I can talk for 35 hours if I'm allowed. Uh, but I don't edit at all. I just, um, I don't know. I think it's more personal when, uh, not personal. I think it's more, I, I, I wish I can think of the word. I just, I feel I connect better with you guys because this is me. I'm not perfect. Uh, and uh, I like the fact that you guys see when I, when I mess up on words or sometimes I've had the hiccups or whatever's going on in my throat that was going on last week. Uh, I just, I don't know. It's just me. And um, I, I think that's the way I'd like to keep it. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm like all sorts. I'm, I'm all sorts of crazy, so <laughs> I'm glad you guys get to see every aspect when I'm on here for more than five minutes, <laughs> uh, but that's a great question. Now, I saved the last question, um, and this is, oh my goodness, are you guys ready for this? Okay, so Lulut 2010 asks, is it true that essays do not get commission? Okay, so uh, Louis Vuitton... Um, sales associates do not make commission. Uh, I have read tons of threads. Some people say that they do, but they do not. I actually asked uh, two of my friends that, um, not two of my friends, but they, we have become friends uh, from Louis Vuitton and uh, they, they do not make commission, but after a certain amount of sales, uh, they have, um, what's it called? They have a uh, Oh my goodness. I have it written down here. They have certain incentives, uh, that the more sales that you accrue, the better the incentives are. However, are you guys ready for this? Oh my goodness. So Louis Vuitton sales associates, deep breath, deep breath, get a discount of 45% off the retail standard line. Mind blown. Oh my goodness. When I heard this, I just about fell in my chair. I could not believe it. Uh, they, um, actually, they are not allowed to put their names on any of the limited edition pieces. Nothing on Epi, nothing on, um, uh, what's it called on, uh, on prompt. It's more of the standard, uh, the standard line. So the monogram canvas, or I mean, just canvas in general. And I don't care. I don't care if that, that lets me know that if I worked at Louis Vuitton and I wanted to buy an artsy, that's $1,900. I can get it at a 45% savings. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I'm going to, I'm going to leave my current job and go work at Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Uh, not only that, um, when some of the bags, uh, are on display and they have a little bit too much patina, they are actually, uh, offered to the employees, but it also comes with a clause. They are not allowed to resell these bags. Uh, and I think, um, I've seen a few different pictures, but, uh, there is a certain stamp that they'll put on the pieces themselves, whether if it was from an employee or if it's uh, if it was a display. There's something that lets them know that it belonged to an employee, uh, so you're not able to resell them or anything like that. But I don't even care. How crazy is that? Forty-five percent. You are five percent away from fifty percent off at Louis Vuitton. Crazy, crazy. But I know that if I worked at Louis Vuitton all of my money would go towards bags, which might not be a bad thing. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> those are all the questions that I have for you guys. I thank you guys so, so much for all the wonderful questions. Uh, and, um, okay. So before I, before I let you guys go, so I'm kind of a scatterbrain. You guys know that, right? Uh, I have been so, uh, overwhelmed at work and with everything going on in my life lately. I have rarely gone on Instagram, which uh, I hate not being able to go on Instagram just because I like to be able to share uh, some things with you guys as well as see some of your photos as well. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I have been so busy that little did I realize that I will be going to Italy this month. For whatever reason, I thought it was going to be in May. And I kept thinking, May, 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 and no, it's this month. So I'm going to be leaving in a couple of weeks uh, to uh, to go to Italy. It's um, 
It's something that I that I planned for my husband and I, especially for his birthday. I'm taking him there. And uh, I am so stoked. So I don't think I'd be able to do the meet and greet because we have so many things planned. But I cannot wait. And yes, maybe my first vlog will be in Italy. I don't know. But I'm going to try my hardest to, to vlog while I'm there and just to show you guys the weather. And uh, I'm so excited to go. Uh, but I feel like right now, this particular moment is the first time I've actually been able to soak it all in and really say out loud, I'm going to Italy this month. <laughs> like I said, I've just been running around like a, like a mad woman, not, not, not thinking of what's going on or anything like that. Not thinking of Italy and <sighs> I can breathe for a second and I can say I'm going to Italy this month. <laughs> Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to not do as much shopping because I want to do some major damage while I'm there. So for those of you that have uh, traveled to Italy, for those of you that live in Italy, can you guys let me know um, where are some of the spots that I absolutely need to go? I will be... Um, going to Rome and Venice. Uh, so let me know what are the, the major places that I, that I should go while I'm there. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later this week. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.